It's Inspector Gloria Gadget Chu here, one of your keratoconus eye detectives, here to give you a couple clues to help you with early keratoconus detection. Number one, using results from your autorefractor. Look for high and erratic results, as well as asymmetry in K values within one eye and between the two eyes. If you see that, make sure to order further corneal imaging with corneal topography or tomography. Number two, refractive error changes over time. We typically expect myopia progression between ages of about 5 to 13. If you're seeing further progression beyond those ages, consider keratoconus. And lastly, signs and symptoms for early keratoconus aren't easily detected or seen with the slip lamp. We want to make sure we avoid advanced complications, including corneal scarring, corneal high drops, or leading to the need for a cornea transplant. Let's put yourself in your patient's shoes or in their chair. Listen to their symptoms and complaints. Look for signs to make you a better eye detective.